years. I just do it myself because I don't have like $200 every, I don't know, month. That's more than my car insurance. That was more than my internet. That was more than my cell What your That's set was, your initial set. They only give a niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring a set. Hello my beautiful angels, welcome to my channel. I'm Angelica, I'm a six figure lash business owner. I have been for the past six years. I teach you how to start, build, and grow your lash business. So if this is something that you're interested in, please subscribe below. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about is the lash industry dying? I keep seeing videos on TikTok and honestly, it has been on my mind to create a video like this for the past few weeks. It's been on my chest. Ladies, I have been watching your businesses from afar and I feel like I am heartbroken because I don't want you to feel like you're not succeeding. Basically, I just don't want you to feel defeated. I 110% do not believe that the lash industry is failing or that it is dying out. From my point of view, what I have seen is that most people's businesses and their models just isn't working and sometimes you need to tweak your business model. An issue that I keep seeing, there are too many lash artists in the industry that are hyper-focused on catering or targeting younger women. This can be a little problematic simply because a lot of younger women between the ages of like 20 to 30 years old could be in college could just be starting their career and they're not set in stone they're not too stable where they do not want to spend the extra money on luxury and they can't really maintain it either and the thing is lashes is a luxury by definition luxury means something that is expensive which is pleasant to have but it's not a necessity since lashes is a luxury i see far too many lash techs their price point is not matching their target audience. They may have a certain high luxury price point, but they're targeting women who just cannot afford to maintain it every two to three weeks. Besides younger women, there are plenty of women out there who make between $30,000 to $130,000 a year. Women in between this income bracket, so to say, they have certain values. I find is that they value priorities first. Women who are making $30,000 to $130,000 a year, they may they prefer more cost-effective beauty products or beauty services these women could be investing they prefer simply spending their money on necessities and their priorities rather than spending lavishly on let's say your lash extensions the thing is mascara strip lashes lash custards that has always been a thing that's not the issue right now the issue is that these women do not want to spend their disposable income on luxury stuff on luxury lashes and that is completely okay now let's talk about women who are making over $130,000 a year and yes I created a chart okay so right here is the first bracket that I was telling you about was the women who are making between $30,000 to $130,000 yearly and now the second one is going to be women who are making over $130,000 a year. This matters simply because there are very specific women who make over $130,000 a year who already indulge in luxury stuff. These specific type of women are okay with spending their disposable income on luxury stuff, especially if they already indulge in it. What I mean by this, the women who already have the luxury cars, the luxury bins, maybe the luxury BMW, maybe they already spend extra money every single week on maybe massages, luxury hair extensions, maybe they have a luxury home. Women who just make a certain amount of income that they have more than enough disposable income to spend on your lash extension. These are the women that you want to target if you do have luxury prices. However, if we're going back again to this type of women, if you are targeting women who make between $30,000 to $130,000 a year, you want to pretty much have a business model that likes to put out deals a lot in promos. I know some people are against it. However, when you know exactly who your target audience is and exactly what they want, you have to give it to them. Think about the brands that are already catered to really like younger women or women who just don't have as much disposable income like Fashion Nova, maybe Shein or like Timo or a little thing. These brands know exactly who their target audience is and they just pretty much put out a lot of fun and engaging deals and promos out all the time that keeps their community connected to them. And that's completely okay. But that's what you're going to want to do if you're targeting women that makes between $30,000 to $130,000 a year. That's what you're going to do and that's okay. Now for the women who are making over $130,000, these could be medical professionals, you could go really into like specialties, maybe gynecology, maybe nurses, nurse practitioners, anything else really in the medical industry. I'm not in the medical industry, so I cannot tell you everyone who works in the medical field, but lawyers, dentists, dental hygienists, realtors, business owners, or other salon owners, principals, engineers, people who work in corporate America as well, but there are so many professions. 
so many professions that make over $130,000 a year. So you would have to look it up. I would honestly just suggest you go on Google, look up near you, most common high salaries in your area. I would also advertise and promote my business in scale neighborhoods in your city or your area. I would focus on that if you have luxury pricing, but you are targeting these type of women, I would honestly highly suggest you roll out the promos, roll out the deals. And that's honestly all I'm going to say. I really don't want you ladies to feel discouraged or feel defeated or feel like you also have to lower your worth. Listen, I came in this industry, you came in this industry to make money, to make a lot of money. Hopefully, I would hope that's why you came in the industry. So it is completely okay, whichever you choose there's no right or wrong it's really just what's going to work for your business once you know exactly who your target audience is exactly what they need you'll be able to give it to them and your business will be able to thrive so that is it for this video i will see you angels in the next one bye